What's going on, Yao Sports? It's 2K Fridays. You're looking at Terrence Rouse, and I am definitely going to be picking him up. His value is tremendous. His athleticism is tremendous, and we're heading back into some more my team, and I'm really enjoying playing my team. It's been a lot of fun. I want to thank Rare Spark for filling in for me last Friday. Had some issues with the video, and now we're good to go. So I'm here with these classic Cavs uniforms, and I'm trying to beat this guy that likes to shoot three-pointers. You know I like to get those rebounds with Rodman. Get out on the break and just stuff it in the hole. You know what that is. It's good stuff. I really enjoy playing with Gerald Green. I really got, you know, Terrence Ross backing him up now. I'm running out here, and it's kind of cheesy, I'm not going to lie, but sometimes you have to run the break on three-point shooting teams. I've mentioned that over and over again. Uh, some people think it's cheesy. Honestly, I don't. I think it's a way of making those guys nervous to shoot three-pointers and kind of cutting the cheese. But look at that. I said cutting the cheese. That's terrible. <laughs> but... You know, running the break like that, running the fast break, people do that in real life. I'm a fan of it. And you know, if they're just not going to guard me, I'm going to use that speed, that athleticism that I have on this team and really play that good team game. I got Joel Prisbilla shooting a hook shot, giving us a little bit of momentum heading into the second quarter, and I really enjoy that. Also, Jason Richardson, money, just from three-pointers. He was bad at the defense to the corner. You see a lot of that is happening you know, as a result of me driving down the right side of the court there and then throwing those bounce passes or throwing those passes towards the middle. Uh, he would cut off the baseline, and if he did that, I would pass to the middle. If he didn't cut off the baseline, then I would be able to just drive in there and get an easy shot. But Dennis Rodman ends out the second quarter with a jump shot. You don't see him do that very often, and for good reason. He wasn't a terrible shooter or anything, but he just didn't do that very much. Look at the Kobe moves from Gerald Green. The reverse pivot, he made that famous. The Lakers just got blown out by the Clippers, so they're going to have to look for some uh, some answers. But it's all right. Rodman once again making things happen. Again, you can see the strategy is the same for me over and over. I'm just getting shots on that right side of the court. And if they're not doing anything, I'm going to move the ball. I see somebody open in the corner, but it doesn't even matter. Jason Richardson goes back to his dunk contest form from 2000, it seems. Great job from him. I really, really am happy that I picked him up. I don't know if Nick Young would have been better or not, but I'm really used to playing with Gerald or with uh, Jason Richardson. I'm very comfortable with him, and uh, you know that's something that's real important. I don't know why this guy started guarding me in the backcourt, but it was a bad look for him. It meant that I could get easy dunks, easy shots like that, and JaVale McGee just went off, just detonated on Josh Selby. So you know, at the end of the day, I was really in control. You know, only a six or seven point lead, but really that's a lot in my team if you play the clock right. There you go, reaching in and getting steals. That's why I set everything to play tight. And you know i got to throw an oop. <laughs> Damian Lillard goes up and catches it and grabs the dunk. I mean, I was a little shocked at that one. I was trying to throw that one to somebody else, but Damian Lillard said, I got this, so we're going to keep running. Dennis Rodman can run that break right back to Lillard again, and all of a sudden the game is broken open. we got an 11-point lead, and we're in the bonus because this guy likes to reach and foul in the backcourt. So we're looking pretty good in my team mode. Once again, Joel Prisbilla set the season high for scoring, apparently, with that uh, other basket. But I got Bob Dandridge in a gold pack a while ago, and he's a beast, man. That dude used to play for the Bucks, and they got him rated very well in this game. He started trying to play his zone, and Dandridge just went in there and detonated on Zaza Pachulia. And at this point, the route is on. It was looking good. I let him back into the game a little bit because he started shooting threes with Gibson. Uh, had to throw the starters back in there. But McGee comes through with a key block there, and that is looking like the game because I just crossed him over, get that easy bucket, get that easy foul, and now we're looking good. He's up there shooting threes again. I was a little lax on the, uh, on the rotations. I had everything set up, or so I thought, had that 11-point lead. But at the end of the day, I ended up winning by eight and running the clock out. So I was very pleased with my performance. I've got a little bit of chemistry with this team, with this current roster. Don't feel like it's too cheesy. Jay Rich gets the player of the game, as he has been doing a lot lately. And those classic Cavs uniforms look pretty hot, man. i got to admit, pretty sweet. Very, very enjoyable. Playing with this unit, with this team, I've got a lot of guys that can do a lot of things. But I'm getting the majority of my points in the paint. You can see that just from the highlights alone. And uh, I'm not going to complain about that because it's actually very, very enjoyable to shoot a high percentage and not have to uh, rely on three-pointers like so many other people do. So a good all-around game. I qualified for the new seed, and I got the Immortal Hots, Scott Hastings, in a pack. 
somehow I don't think he's going to make it onto my final squad, but, you know, we'll deal with it. We'll make it happen. I get a bronze pack, and I am selling the rest of my stuff. Probably going to sell Scott Hastings, too, and now I'm in the sixth seed, so it's looking pretty good. Thanks for watching, Yash Sports.